Welcome to the Epic TV Surf Report, Hawaiian edition, all about the Hawaiian Islands and the people that inhabit them. Starting things off, Surfline took us out to the south shore of Oahu for a Surfline live session at Ala Moana Bowls last week, just after all the action in the water at Te Hupo. That south swell just kept marching its way up through the Pacific and it served up some sweet surf at Ala Moana. Which begs us to ask the question, what do the people want as far as surfing online? The brilliant minds at the Association of Surfing Professionals thinks it's the world's best surfers in the world's best wave. Here's what one of those people, Dora Lives, has to say in response to that via Twitter. Pumping in Tahiti, pumping in Hawaii, shitty in Brazil. Hey ASP, I'm dreaming of the Dream Tour and watching Ala Moana live on Surfline. Surfline supports the ASP, but still announces in one of their online ads, no announcers, no scoreboards, just great surfing and great waves. And on the Surfline Twitter account, a south swells in the water, the sun is out, and the weather is tropical for hashtag Surfline Live from Ala Moana with Hurley. Unfortunately, they still haven't finished the highlight edit. I don't know if they're even gonna get around to it. But in the meantime, check out the Ala Moana spot check on Surfline, as well as the day in the life of Ala Moana Bowls feature. And now to the North Shore, home of one Jamie O'Brien, who's a big fan of Twitter. And on his account, he tweets, the beginning is now. Who is Job 3.0? Well, Job is James Duncan O'Brien. Question, rock star? or jackass. Either way, he's got wings and he's flying off on a new adventure. And this is what the people from Red Bull have to say about it. Tune in Friday, May 24th for the season premiere. This season on Who is Job 3.0, Jamie O'Brien is back surfing some of the best waves and events in the world, including the famous Pipeline Masters in Hawaii. But not before trying his hand at some unconventional action sports, including river surfing, mattress street surfing, and launching off a winch slip and slide. Follow Job as he attempts to balance friends partying, and of course, world-class surfing in a life that's anything but ordinary. This is Who is Job 3.0. More on that at redbull.com forward slash surfing. You've all heard the song Cheeseburger in Paradise from Jimmy Buffett, sung while wearing a shirt very similar to the one that I've got on today. Well, this time around, it's not about a cheeseburger, it's just about a plain old burger and his best buddy, Mason Ho, and their new website, burgerinparadise.com. And to celebrate the launch of that website, they've released a great little video clip called The Movie that you can check out at burgerinparadise.com. I suggest you do so. It is highly entertaining. Looking forward to seeing more from Burger and Mason Ho. Yabra! Yeah, and there's been a few birthdays celebrated in the Hawaiian Islands over the last week or so. First up, happy 30th to Maui's Ian Walsh. Ian pretty much invited the entire world to his birthday party on his Facebook page. This is what he had to say. Saturday, May 18th, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's an 80s day party at my house in Haiku. Dress in your best 80s attire and be ready to hit a 100 foot long slip and slide. Was Jamie O'Brien there? And you couldn't have missed Quincy Davis's birthday. Her BFFs, Najee Melamed, Kalia Moniz, and Coco Ho had shout outs all over the internet for what seemed like a century. She's still a teenager. Hope it was an epic one, Najee. And one more very special birthday celebrated out there by a guy who's not a Hawaiian, but he's spent enough time there that he darn well should be. His best friend, 11-time world champion Kelly Slater, tweeted this. Hashtag happy birthday to one of the hashtag best humans I know. Exemplary friend, husband, dad, citizen surfer. That's right, Taylor Knox, happy belated birthday to you, dude. And to finish things off in style, a quick word about Alana Blanchard's butt and the pro surfer attached to it. It seems that both of them are still feeling right at home in Rio. Speaking of Rio, all the highlights, lowlights, and much, much more coming at you in the next two editions of the Epic TV Surf Report. Until next time, don't forget to get wet.